Hello and welcome to this video. We are going to look at how you can count the number of days that fall between two dates. It's a rather specific question, but it came to me from a reader recently, and it's a great use case for a special function called Network Days International that we'll take a look at. So basically we want to say, I'm looking at February just as the example here, but it could be any date. And I just put this here to help us as a visual guide. This is just the month of February. We want to say how many Mondays fall between the 1st of February and the end of February, which is the 29th. And then from there we'll build and say, what about other days of the week? But essentially the question was how many Mondays are there between these two days? Perhaps you're trying to plan how many weekly meetings you have before a project goes live or something like that. So first of all, let's just count how many work days I have in February, because we'll start with the slightly easier function and then build from there. And you can see that I have all of these ones, these ones, and these ones. So I have down here 20 work days because I have to exclude that 19th because it's a federal holiday. It was President's Day here in the US, so we're going to exclude that public holiday. And of course, we'll exclude the weekend. We'll assume we're not working weekends. So there's the number of work days. It's 20 in February. So let's just get that with a formula. So we'll say network days. And we'll say start date. And we'll say end date. And we'll click enter. Ah, 21 so far. Now, of course, that's just 21. That's all of the days, including that holiday. Well, that was rather inconsiderate, but we're back. We've logged back in and let's keep going. So that, as I said, includes the 19th, the residence day. We need to remove that from our counts. And if I double click and go back into this formula, open up the helper, drop this down. I have this optional argument holidays. And what I can do is drop in an array or a range for example, A1 to A10, they give you here that contains some holiday dates. So let's just include that range there. So I'll just pop that at the end by putting a comma. Let me hide this a moment again. So put the comma and then we'll just click that last one there. And I'll just add two because just to show you that it can be arranged, there could be another holiday there. Or if you have a really big time period, like a six month time period, you might have a whole range of 10, 12, however many holidays you have in there. And there we go, now drops down to 20, it gives me the right count. Great, so let's talk about how many Mondays are there? That was the original question was, how many Mondays are there in this period? And my period is the month of February for this example. So we'll say network, except this time we'll use this network days international. So it's the same idea, essentially we give it two dates. And then we can specify a custom weekend effectively. And what we're going to do is say, basically, Monday is the only work day. The other six days are weekend days. Wouldn't that be nice? And therefore, it'll only count the Mondays in the formula. And then we also can add the holidays as well. So we'll get to that though in due course. So start date. And I'm going to just lock this with F4 so that I can copy this formula easily. Hit that one, F4 again to lock it. Now I said I want to only count the Mondays. So what we're going to do is set up this string. Now this string has seven characters for the seven days of the week. And it starts with a Monday. And we basically put a zero if we want the day to be a work day, one if we want it to count as a weekend or a holiday day. So Monday we want a zero because we're going to count that. Every other day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we want all ones because they're going to be counted as this weekend with living the dream, the six day weekend. So we'll hit enter. I will X that for the moment. And there we go. It's given me the four Mondays. It's counted those four Mondays. Now, what about that holiday though? So we can just add that in. I'll drag that down. So I have a second formula, click in and we'll add the same argument as we did above of just highlighting again. It could be that range, that range. We'll just do one because I know it's there, but it can be that range if you wish. Hit enter, and there we go. Now it's down to three. So the 5th, the 12th, and the 26th. So that's that one. What about counting Thursdays? Well, we'll copy this formula now, and we'll drop it down here. It's counting my Mondays for me. 
J6, of course, I didn't lock J6, that moved. So let's make sure we put that back to J4 and just lock that because I don't want that to happen again. And this time, Monday now becomes a one because we don't want to count the Monday. Monday, I'm gonna work down here. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is the fourth day of the week. So we'll hit delete to remove the one and replace it with a zero and hit enter. So that now gives me the Thursdays and there we go, five. That's the one day there that has the five Thursdays in this particular February because of the leap year. So let me just grab that and just copy that there. And let me grab this and copy that there. Let's center them and let's make them say size 14, a little bit wider so you can really see. And you can see now very clearly how I've modified that array. The zero has become a one because I don't want to count the Mondays anymore. Mondays now are a holiday or a, or a, or a weekend day effectively. And the Thursday becomes back to a zero to signify that's the work day I want to count. Now, what about counting multiple days? Of course we can do that. So let's just copy that here. And for the moment, I've said I was going to exclude holidays, but I think it's pretty obvious now. So we'll just copy that up to there that to exclude holidays, we just reference that last range or cell with a with a date in or multiple dates if you wish for the holidays but what we want to focus on is the new string here and in fact what we could do is build it first of all down here so we can see so count mondays and thursdays so we're going to put a monday back to a zero so that's monday zero tuesdays are one wednesdays are one thursdays are zero friday saturday and sunday are all ones and that should be the one we want so we will Change that back to zero, hit enter, boom, there we go, perfect. So we now have one, two, three Mondays and five Thursdays. And there we go, just to confirm down there when I highlight them and I'm holding down my command key on a Mac or control key on a PC or a Chromebook to just continuously highlight those ranges that aren't contiguous. Uh, and that's eight, it gives me eight there. Great, and if I had not included the holiday, if I said there were no holidays, of course it would have been nine because it doesn't then recognize that as a holiday. Great, so that is the really, really useful uh, Network Days International, oh, intentional, I'm not quite sure, I think it's international. <laughs> so that's Network Days International, and you have the slightly more limited Network Days if you know what you want to do there, but Hopefully that's helpful. If you do work with dates, then it's definitely worth knowing about these two formulas. So thanks very much for watching folks. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, please hit that subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you again soon in another video. Bye for now.